Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many programmers encounter when working with language processing. Our viewer is looking to enhance their movie watching experience by translating unique words from subtitle files using MATLAB. The viewer has successfully created a list of unique words from a movie subtitle file and wants to translate them into their language. However, they're facing challenges using Google Translate within MATLAB, particularly with error messages like 403 and 400. Let's dive into how we can solve this issue. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video. Cheers. To use Google Translate in MATLAB, we need to access the Google Translate API. First, ensure you have an active internet connection and a Google Cloud account. Next, let's build the URL for the API request. The code snippet you found is a good starting point, but it needs some adjustments to work with the current API. Now we will send a request to the Google Translate API using the WebRead function in MATLAB. This function allows us to retrieve data from the web If you encounter errors like 403 or 400, it may be due to incorrect API key usage or invalid parameters. Double check your API key and ensure that the input string and language codes are correct. Finally, remember to handle the API response properly. You can extract the translated text and use it in your program as needed. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To use Google Translate in MATLAB, you can access a simple translation API. First, find your language code using a specific URL. Next, specify the text you want to translate and the language codes for the original and target languages. Then construct the translation URL and retrieve the translation results using another API call. Finally, check the output for the translated text. You can parse the results if needed. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.